Subscribe to the McHenry Man Show on YouTube. Who's the bi- Ooh, Olympia Dukakis? Okay. That's uh, my bitch. Uh, maybe does Olivia do Cox? Yes, sucks. No, mm-hmm. <laughs> she, <laughs> she's Michael Dukakis' cousin. Interesting. Yeah, do she? Oh, it was Dukakis? Do, let me ask you, was he Greek? Dukakis? Yeah, he was. Do but she was suck? Cox? <laughs> she suck Caucus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> let me ask you this about Olympia. Do she suck Caucus? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> uh, this question is for Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> but it's uh, we're here at Comic Con. <laughs> so what? What did Olympia Dukakis do? We're at the Moonstruck reunion at Comic Con <laughs> with Cher and Olympia Dukakis <laughs> and Nicholas Cage. The moon, I'm the only person in attendance here at the Moonstruck <laughs> panel at <laughs> Comic Con. <laughs> and Olivia, did she suck? <laughs> did she suck Caucus? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me, I was laughing. Let me get my question. Hold on one second, Olivia. Yeah, I'm my, sorry. Yeah, I had a problem with the mic and I was yeah, laughing. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> do she. Do she. Do, you get the point. Can I sign your breasts? <laughs> She's like 85 years old now. She was. She was old in Moonshuck, but I was pissed that she didn't yeah, get Yeah, my fucked. question is for Elaine Stritch. Um, <laughs> can you yeah, stretch your out. pussy over my can you cock? Stretch out that pussy. <laughs> you stretch that pussy out on my cock. Here at Comic Con, we got questions for Elaine Stretch. Mm-hmm. There's a guy named. Oh, Neil. good lord! Now, <laughs> there's a guy named Neil Israel who was in um, "Look Who's Talking." <laughs> His name is Neil Israel, and he played Mr. Ross. What's wrong with that name? It's just stupid. He sounds stupid. I don't know who played the baby, though. Michael Babyano. Mm-hmm. Michael <laughs> Babyano. Yeah, yeah. The, the yeah my name's Michael Babyano, and uh, I'm an actor. <laughs> like, okay, Michael, uh, get your size card here. Um, so your role is uh, baby, I guess, <laughs> if you just want to read that. Yeah. I don't know why they sent this guy. He's like 36 years old. We're just looking for a baby. I heard he's the best. <clears throat> yeah, Michael Babiano. Okay, just go ahead and read the line. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. He's, he's transformed into a baby. <laughs> yeah, it's basically uh, it's all I do. There's a lady named Twink Kaplan. What's wrong with that? <laughs> that sounds like what your name should be, Adam. Yeah, it's true. You got me there, brother. <laughs> oh, there, I guess there was four babies, people that played the baby. Well, you got to switch out babies because the and, union rules. <laughs> right. And none of them, it appears, have gone on to have a career. Jason Schaller, Jer- Jared Waterhouse, mm-hmm. Jacob Haynes, and Christopher Aiden. And none of them. I wonder who did the voice of the baby. Um, Bradley Let's Cooper. Brad, Brad Cooper. You think it was Brad Cooper? No, he was too young. <clears throat> I don't know. Bruce Willis plays the voice of Molly's son. Oh, it was Bruce Willis? I forgot about that. Very cool. I, I fucking he could have played movie. the baby as yeah. a bald actor. That's yeah. Right. Um, we're here at the uh, the Comic Con panel for uh, Barney Miller. <laughs> 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 My question is for uh, Barbara Barry. Uh, do you think I can? <laughs> do you think I can bury my dick <laughs> in your ass? <laughs> Sorry, let me ask. I, yeah, I'm gonna ask again. Let me ask. one second. Yeah. I'm sorry. My friend yeah. filming this. My, my friend made Ooh. my friend made me laugh. <laughs> do you think I could bury my dick in your ass? <laughs> this is Barbara Barry. Excuse me, Barb. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think I could bury my dick in your ass? Yeah, I was wondering, on the the show, did anyone bury their dick in Barbara Berry's ass? (laughs) (laughs) Did Hal Linden ever bury his cock? (laughs) (laughs) Damn. Yeah. Abe Vigoda. This was a good good cast. I'm going to watch Look Who's Talking again. (laughs) Three Men and a Baby, that was another good one. Yeah. yeah. That was Gutenberg. really when, when babies were king. When babies were king, dude. Yeah. Hollywood the was late just, 80s. It was half baby. 
New York City roommates Peter, Michael, and Jack are all successful and happily unmarried. This could be my life, actually. That would be cool if we three men in and babied. Yeah, we've talked about it, actually. Yeah. But no, I wouldn't raise a child with you guys. Sorry. I wouldn't either. Just one baby? I wouldn't. I wouldn't bring this. I wouldn't bring a child into this world with with you guys. Why? Because it's crazy, messed up, it's world. crazy, fucked up world, dude. This yeah. is crazy, fucked up. I wouldn't. World, I man. wouldn't. I don't want to wish podcasting on a child. Oh my god! To grow up in a podcasting family. Oh my god! Can you imagine how fucked that kid is going to be? He'd be fucked up, dude. From I would. That. Now I would raise him with my my fat roommates. Mm-hmm. Eldest would be a great mother. <laughs> Eldest could breastfeed him. Mm-hmm. I breastfed the baby and now it's dead. I think my I think my titty milk is poison. I think I've got poison in my titties. I think my titties are poison. Oops. I killed the baby. Stop. Damn. <clears throat> Olympia, do she suck cockus? <laughs> <laughs> didn't they? Bear. Didn't they ask Michael Dukakis what he would do if somebody like raped his wife? Uh, Wasn't his wife crazy or something? No, I think they asked him like on at a debate. What would you do if they raped your wife? Mm-hmm. And he was like, I would be pretty upset. But he wasn't. Mm-hmm. He shouldn't have gone ballistic. Like I would have fucked this bitch ass up. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm here at the Dallas panel at Comic Con. <laughs> Dallas, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Dallas mm-hmm. Dynasty. And I just, I, my question is for Charlene Tilton. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, just, I was wondering if you would tilt on my dick. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Did you that's tilt your good. pussy on my dick mm-hmm. over here? Yeah. <laughs> thanks mm-hmm. for coming. I, and thanks I have, for coming. I have to, First sorry, of all, I have to run out. I have to way. go to the Tilda Swinton. Thanks for coming yeah. all the way from Texas to do this <laughs> panel. <laughs> to everyone here. Mm-hmm. My question is for Donna Reed. Can I read your pussy lips? <laughs> Can I read your pussy like it's Braille? <laughs> <laughs> Can I read your your the, your nipple rivets like they're Braille? Donna Reed? <laughs> With my tongue, bitch? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. What, are, who, what other, yeah. are you just looking up actresses whose names are puns? I'm for? just going through shows that I think would be funny to be at. Uh, I see. Mm-hmm. At, uh, <laughs> at Comic-Con and then thinking of actresses and what questions you would mm-hmm. ask them. Respect. Because what what would not be at Comic Con? Passions. Mm-hmm. What was that? Like a soap? It's a soap opera. Oh, it sounds like one. It had like a boy with a growth disorder on it. Oh, really? Yeah. I never seen to like a Gary I, I, Coleman. My, my, kind? One of my greatest regrets in life is not getting deeply into soap operas as a child. <laughs> you got time. Yeah, but there's nothing like that's the gem of network television. Granted, they're all on while you're at school, mm-hmm. right? But, it, like, what made network television truly powerful is, like, sort of a, a it, it's almost like a, like huffing gas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, where it, like, if you consume too much of it, it will give you brain damage, but mm-hmm. it takes you to a higher plane of consciousness. Yeah. One where the poison itself becomes in an elixir with which you can disrupt society. Kind of I like the MK Ultra that. program. Right. Yeah. You know, where they want to control people with dangerous drugs. The highest levels of control, the deep state, but then they end, they end up giving them too much. Yeah, and they right. do a Charles Manson, and what mm-hmm. do we get? The movies of Rosemary's Baby, right? <laughs> Which is a good movie. It is. And did, and what's his face raped some children? Who? The guy who directed Rosemary. Didn't... That's not true. I don't believe somebody who makes things that I like would do something bad. <laughs> Didn't what's his face do Rosemary's Baby? Polanski. Roman? Mm-hmm. Big Roman. You know, people yeah. always say you got to separate the art from the artist. Of course. You know. Including raping a, a child in the ass. Yeah. That's, you know. <laughs> Which is what he did. <laughs> and then he went to France and they unrolled the red carpet yeah, for him. France was like, ah, ratatouille. <laughs> ah. That do you did a we call that a ratatouille? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they operate on a three strike ratatouille policy. Yeah, you get two child ass rapes mm-hmm. <laughs> before you have to. That's take why Patton, the class Patton heard about it. And he's like, I got an idea for a movie. And they were like, <laughs> um, <laughs> they're like maybe it could be about a chef. <laughs> 
<laughs> so they did. Oh, really? It started with the. It was a Roman Polanski <laughs> biopic. <laughs> <laughs> Where a rat makes him <laughs> fuck a child. child in the end. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. I love going back to the ratatouille well. Well, the ratatouille is an analogy for Jews' influence on culture in general. No, it's not. <laughs> is that society has a rat. In this in case, you're right. That's that's actually pulling its hair. And Amy in Schumer this case, you're has right. got to weigh probably 6,000 pounds now. <laughs> Easily, dude. If you Google her, this old ass picture, this old ass picture of her comes up, and she's like, because she was always, quote unquote, a fat bitch. Yeah, she. Was. And this is, <laughs> what are you quoting there? Your own personal journals? No, no, that's that's on that's on the. <laughs> It's in the New England. It was uh, the branding on the side of her body. No, it's next the- to the Tide stickers <laughs> in the number thirty-three. She was classified a fat bitch in the yeah. New England Journal. Okay. Of she, she was sponsored in between all of her sponsorship stickers. Mm. It said the Mississippi's own f- the fat bitch. <laughs> The, f- the flying. Watch big how you're bitch. talking about Towson State University's own Amy yeah. Schumer. Dude. Anyways, Long Island's own. Got Long this, Island and Towson. This a picture, yeah. combo. A picture of her in 2011. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, you look at her now, and I would be surprised if she's not only wearing purple sweat clothes. Well, point. she's a mother now. Yeah. yeah, you know she's got she got a she squeezed the baby out of her pussy, and it makes you fatter. Mm-hmm. Well, <clears throat> would it, it would make you less if you squeezed it out. Well, but pregnancy you get you get fat. You get fatter. I guess so. And listen, it's well, quarantine. Who amongst us hasn't packed on a couple pounds? I want to yeah. quick Not look. us, that's for sure. I want a quick look into her world to see how much... And I'm not even being critical. <laughs> I just, <laughs> just want to know... <laughs> okay. And I, what are you exactly doing? <laughs> interested. <laughs> As a matter of scientific interest, I would like to know how fat she's gotten. Okay. Because she doesn't have a problem with it. I don't have a problem no. with it either. I just, I, it's interesting to know how things change size. To know wise. the number of how it's changed. Yeah. Listen, if there was a guy who walked around flaccid all the time and he was famous in Hollywood for being like, that's, that's flaccid Eric. Yeah. We've mm-hmm. always seen his penis. And then there was tabloid rumors. They're like, yeah, he had a son and he had to get his it's penis di- hard to get That's fucked dick. up. Right. And then you'd be like, all right, let's see what his dick looks like. <laughs> sure. You know, it's, I think that would be the natural reaction. It's the same. <laughs> the flaccid Eric. Getting his the dick guy. hard. The guy that's known. <laughs> <laughs> this is a perfect one for one analogy. <laughs> the flaccid thing. The that's guy exposed. makes sense as a concept. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it makes sense as a. My question is for, for flaccid pregnancy. Eric. Can we see your cock? <laughs> <laughs> We're at the Comic Con. We heard panel. your dick got big to make the baby. <laughs> And we want to know how big you are now, because your dick had kept getting bigger. It's a even good after, analogy because you kept eating dick fuel. Yeah, mm. because even after the birth, you were still eating for two. Oh, he's on. You were P- fucking for two. Mm-hmm. You were jacking off for two. Should we do another Comic Con panel? Yeah, my question is for Amy Schumer. Um, <laughs> can you shove more of my dick into your mouth? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> shove more, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like Schumer, that. My dick I like it? that too because seeing as how she's related to Chuck Schumer, yeah, that yeah. you could also do that at a political town hall. You yeah. could ask him, and honestly, hey, Chuck, he wouldn't be able to come back. Can you that. shove shove more of my cock in your that's, mouth? That's that's true. You piece of shit. I just want to know how fat she's gotten, and it's not even to be mean. You could go to her Instagram. Oh right, yeah, and then just comment on the one of the pictures. How fat are, are you in this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> can, is there any way we can know what weight you're... Excuse me. How, what number uh, pounds are is this uh, in this picture? Pound check? Pound check? Pound check, question mark? <laughs> can we get a pound check on that? Can we get a pound check on aisle three? <laughs> yeah. Boop. There is a huge fat bitch in aisle three. Um... Look, man, I think you need to deal with your own body dysmorphia yeah, before, Nick, you, it sounds, before you start coming for the plus-size community, of which I am a part. Again, I'm not being critical. I'm not coming for anything. I don't, I'm not saying she needs to lose weight. At no point did I say she looks bad. Right. That's. I just said she's probably... 6,000 pounds. She's yeah. probably huge. She must be 6,000 pounds by now. Yeah. 
<laughs> she must be. And everyone who knows she your absolutely must. feelings on the plus size know that you're not being critical. I'm not being critical. 